Happy Valentine's Day, Green Light the Day family. I hope that the greatest, biggest love in your life is your own and you're sharing it with others. Um, I think it's really appropriate that some of the things that I was reading fits what I think about on Valentine's Day. And actually, it fits what I should think about every day because love is more than a holiday. I appreciate the celebration of it, but love should be something we celebrate every day. I'm still reading The Four Doors by Richard Paul Evans, and it's talking about our divinity. Each one of us is so divine. You are divine. Do you believe that? Do you believe you are divine? When you hear you are divine, does a smile automatically come across your face? Does something flutter in your stomach? Because I know we can read we are divine, but do you believe you are divine? And it's so important because I don't think there are a lot of us, as we were growing up, someone said, oh, your divinity is inspiring, or you are so divine, or I know you have a purpose greater than what I could possibly tell you. When I was growing up, I had somebody in my family tell me, and they used my last name, which I'm going to just use the word so-and-so. Oh, you're just a so-and-so. So-and-sos don't amount to anything. Can you believe someone telling you that? Fortunately, on my path, I've run across people who have told me, you know what? Go for this. You have something for this life. You have a gift. And when you believe in your divinity, you will run into those people. As you're creating your love-centered map, you'll see signposts of your divinity. I want to read you um, a quote that says, Believe in your destiny and the star from which it shines. Believe you have been sent from God as an arrow shot from his own bow. Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in the universe, your own soul force, your satyagraha, you are an arrow. You were shot for a particular point, a particular destination. You have a purpose. You're an arrow of divinity. And it's important that you really believe in your divinity. Well, because no one else will if you don't. But second of all, and I think very important, I love this quote by William Shakespeare. There's a divinity that shapes our ends. Your divinity, your belief in a mission or purpose will lead you in your life. And I know there are times when we're like, I don't know what my purpose is. And it reminds me of a quote by T.D. Jakes who says, if you don't know what your purpose is, find your passion. passion because your passion is going to lead you to your purpose. So how do we become aware of the signs that, that awaken our divinity? We have to listen. And I don't mean hearing. I mean paying attention. And then paying attention and acting. Another quote that I really enjoyed is by Ralph Waldo Emerson, which says, None of us will ever accomplish anything excellent or commanding, except when he listens to this whisper, which is heard by him alone. That whisper is going to become a very, very strong voice, voice as you believe in your divinity, as you give your divinity a say in your life, not just on a holiday, not just in special moments, but every day embracing your divinity. Um, it's just so important because your divinity becomes a desire. And when you think about desires, think about something you desired. And I'm just going to put it in a really funny example. But when you want something to eat, nothing stands in your way. You have that desire. 
Same thing with your divinity, your soul force, creating that love-centered map. A desire will get you moving in no time. Desire your divinity. I'm going to leave you with a quote by Fyodor Dostoevsky, which says, The mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. Believe in your divinity. Believe in your life purpose. And act on that voice. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>